All right, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. This is uh, Walker on We Play Games. This is the Vicky Three Academy, and I just wanted to show you guys a proof of concept video. I'm gonna use console to do a lot of things, but I promise that if you're patient in re-rolling, that you can do the same thing. It's just like I, I want to make this video be 15 maybe 20 minutes long um and so i don't want to have you watch me on speed five wait for things to build i want you to understand what you should be doing the time frame for me is going to be extremely compressed because i'm gonna as i said i'm gonna cheat and i'm gonna use fast and act but i i suspect that if you follow this guide and you get you know reasonably lucky on the rolls you need in order to to pass laws that you're gonna find that this is gonna be a very consistent path for you so the, the starting thing that you need to be re-rolling for is this ideology right here. It's jingoist. So why does why are we re-rolling this? I, I'm not gonna teach you how to play Japan. I'm going to assume that you that you have some idea of, of how to play. And then I'm gonna show you the steps how to do a Kome restoration. But if you don't know how to play Japan, my recommendation is I do have a channel, I do have a YouTube channel where I did um, a video of me of me playing like the first 30 some years as Japan. The only thing that I think that I did wrong in that game um, is this one right here. I I forgot who the emperor was. The emperor right now is the emperor Kome. Meiji is the one who oversaw the vast transformation of, of Japanese society. He's the one who pushed for westernization because by pushing for westernization in terms of things like clothing, if, if you are purchasing and wearing um, Western goods, that means that your fashion, the fashion industry there is going to better align with it. It's going to be able to conduct trade with it. It's going to, it's going to make it very easy for you to integrate into the international economy if you start ado adopting the consumption of Western goods. And it's one of the things that really helped kickstart the Japanese, um, because it, it makes you diplomatically and economically pseudo subservient to the Western powers you're doing trade with, but not really. What it really does is it tells you that you're willing to, you're, it tells them you're willing to play ball. Um, and, and Emperor Meiji oversees that, but Emperor, Emperor Kome does not oversee that. He's, he dies in 1867. The Meiji Restoration is 1868. Um, so Emperor Kome just barely misses it. But the strategy of using industry to try to transform your society, that sounds like a Meiji strategy, doesn't it? What would Emperor Kome do? Emperor Kome who we're not seeing here, he would be incredibly patient and he would he would be mad and he would wait for someone who would have sympathy with him to take control of um, some sort of part of the, the the faction of the shogunate. And so what that's doing is just representing you re-rolling until you get an ideology jingoist. Jingoist makes it so that the breaking down the power of the shogunate turns from being an incredibly difficult, incredibly, incredibly difficult thing into being something that I think you can do very reliably at home, which is why I'm showing you. You, with the Jingoist ideology, and again, I have I have Fast and Act on just because I want to skip to, um, oh, I don't have Fast and Act on it. Oops. Uh, we have Fast and Act on. That's still going to fire, but it means that we need Fast Research need fast build um, and with those we're gonna be able to do some improvements I'm just doing like a very basic how to set up Japan if you want to do a, a Kome thing what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by building up your construction sectors I think the right way you want to build up your construction sectors is five construction sectors five logging camps in Kansai where by the way you have started with a road maintenance, I'm gonna pause this. Um, you started with a road maintenance there and then you went five construction sectors, five logging camps, five construction sectors, um, four more logging camps. And you're gonna have the money to do this pretty easily because of the way your economy is, is shaped. You have a pretty big economy as Japan. You have 31 million pops and those 31 million pops are mostly working on subsistence farms. And subsistence farms largely make a, they largely make grain, so you're going to be taxing grain probably initially um, while you wait for your laws to change. It might actually, it might actually benefit you to keep a little bit of authority around just to make sure you have an enactment time bonus, 
in which case um, is green more economically efficient than services plus sin? Nope. Services in sin are usually the, the the way forward now is the other thing that I want to tell you. I did do um, attacks on, on grain in that gameplay, but because I think you're going to want the authority here, I think you're going to want the authority there because I think you're really going to want to push through these laws as quickly as you can. Because the first thing you can do is you start at peasant levies, and then you can immediately switch over to professional army if you have a, a jingoist leader here. Because the jingoist leader doesn't like um, peasant levy levies. In fact, they hate it. They love a professional army, on the other hand. And so you go to them and you say, hey, I hear you love a professional army. Why don't you work with me, um, the Emperor Komei, and I'll help you get that done. And in turn, you can help me by weakening the Shogun a little bit. And so you do it, you roll it. I, I just, I'm using fast and act right now, but I tell you, and I promise you, if you have, if you have um, this as your starting politics, you're going to have a really easy time getting laws passed. A really easy time, because you're going to have 100 legitimacy, you're going to have tons of authority to pass things. So your enactment time is going to be almost non-existent. It might be worth it. I think that's why I taxed grain is that it, it just doesn't save you a lot of time on laws. That that might be the case, in which case, if it doesn't save you time on laws, then yeah, you tax grain. Like, you just want money because because underneath this change, this law change that we're going to be doing, we're also going to be doing a research. Um, you want to pick up colonization, because colonization, and then you want to go to academia. The, it is literally in that order, too. Because colonization is going to let you do two things. Colonization is going to allow you to get a, co a colonial law. And again, because of the jingoist ideology that you re-rolled patiently for and I cheated for, you're going to find a way to pass either colonial resettlement really easily or colonial exploitation really easily. In this case, you can mouse it over and you go resettlement. All right, we've got samurai and shogunate support for it. That's going to be really easy to make that group come together same thing here so maybe here we reorganize we keep the government the same way it was um so that way we can work on this law and then as soon as this law is done i think we're gonna change our uh, our government around a lot yeah and again i've got fast enact law on so this is this is something where this might the first law the first law uh peasant levies that might take you one or two rolls Hope if you're very if you're very if you're relatively lucky if you're just even relatively lucky in fact you're gonna get it on the first roll because you're gonna be at seventy you know, a million percent um, support it's gonna be pretty hard to miss two rolls on professional army and your rolls are gonna be really fast because you're gonna have insanely high legitimacy um, so you, you're gonna do the professional army roll that's gonna take maybe a year and that's if things are unlucky then you're gonna in twenty months you're gonna have the colonial thing researched because you don't start start with academies. And then you're going to do one of these. You're going to do a, 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 a colonial um, law. And my recommendation is, I think that because your starting colony population is so high, I like resettlement. Because you're going to be able to just do really, really quick settlement with, with Japan, because that's going to scale off of the size of your um, incorporated pops. Whereas exploitation is more like if you desperately need the resources from the, co the colonies. And we don't really need the resources desperately. We need them. But we more need the colonies than we need the resources. And that's what resettlement does, especially if you have a big starting population. So start in resettlement. But you have the flexibility of choice here. So if you start in resettlement and the first roll that you get, it, and you can get unlucky rolls, if the first roll that you get is like a minus 20% chance, um, or like make people furious, then just just take the minus 20% chance, cancel resettlement, and start exploitation. That's fine too. But I'm again, we're just we're doing fast and act because I you can do this too. I promise you can do this too. If you disagree, try it. I promise you can do this too. Um, so so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do that. We did that little reform, and now the shogun is going to be thrilled with us. We have, and by the shogunate um, IG, I do mean um, Tetsutaru Hayashi, 
but we've made an ally for life over here by just doing the things that he asked us to do. But what that means is we might not even need him anymore. Um, and so what we can do is we can reform the government at, at that point. I think you want the initial starting government for um, professional army because the armed forces, aka the samurai, are going to be in favor of it. And so that's going to give you the maximum legitimacy with um, extra favoritism towards doing it. And then go into colonial resettlement, same with the samurai being there, because again, it gives you an increased chance of passing it. But once you've gotten those two done, then you kick the shogunate to the curb because you don't need them anymore. Because what you're going to do now is you're going to bring your um, you're going to bring your your Buddhist monks in and you're going to build up your Buddhist monks pretty quickly. And how are we going to build up our Buddhist monks pretty quickly? Um, we are going to do it like this. We are going to remove probably grain tax because generally speaking, grain tax is it's very easy to run with Japan because you do have a ton of extra grain initially. But it's also, it's also not just, it's just not very efficient in terms of authority. And you're going to need authority at this point. Because once you've done that, uh, that flip-flop in terms of laws, you're going to immediately, in, uh, in terms of, of government, you're going to immediately bolster this. And you're going to immediately suppress this. And you're going to also, at the, after, after you've done those um, laws, after the, you've done those laws, you're going to go through and you're going to fire your army. You're going to thank them for your for their service. And you're just going to say, from here on out, the war that we are going to fight is going to be economic. You guys are going to join in. You're going to love it. It's going to be great. Um, and by removing all of those after you've passed the laws, you have the extra clout and ideology of the samurai to work with when doing your passing. So don't don't take those. Do not fire a single soldier until you have completed your first two um, law, support, law, law things. Don't fire a single soldier and don't get rid of the samurai. But once you've done that, then you switch over, then you've done the you know, professional army and colonial resettlement, then you switch over to a Buddhist monk government, and then you've been building in the meanwhile. So we started with construction sectors and um, wood, because I think the thing that you want to be building is sort of just like a good construction based economy. Just a little bit of money basically is what you want. And I think, I think that I would recommend just building this up to an 11 stack rather than a 15 stack and then building a five stack somewhere where there's, there's resources. Um, I, I, I find myself more and more being convinced that it should be Kyushu. So I think we're going to do that. We're going to build a five stack on Kyushu again, all of this is going to happen a very different time frame um, because we are doing fast build. But this is just like the basic plan of what you should be doing and what you should be doing. You also probably want to you probably want to build it a little bit in Tohoku first. Yeah, you probably want to do Tohoku first, actually, because you don't need the coal. You want to go you want to go um, five, 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 four, then go over to Tohoku. And then you can move your um, your road maintenance decree too. Don't forget that you can move your road maintenance decree. I don't ever do it on stream because when I'm on stream, I'm playing goofy. But if you want to play well, move your road maintenance decree. Um, build a little bit of iron mines. You don't need to start with a lot. You can build a little bit of iron mines. Five and five is fine. Switch the tooling workshop over to pig iron tools. So that way you use the pig iron. So that way the pig iron has somewhere to go. Because the pig iron is going to need to be used in order for the pig iron to be profitable and then you drink every time i say pig iron um and then you go all right so tohoku's got a little bit of iron built um we've got some tools built you can adjust your uh your methods of production at that point once you have tools being built then i think it's important to make a meaningful adjustment to the way your economy works you can waste time clicking around before you have the this little tool workshops built up but you can build that up pretty quickly at the same time that you're doing these government adjustments. I, I promise. Just try it. I, I promise. I'm not, I'm not lying to you. Um, and then maximize these little things. Make sure that you're producing the thing that makes you the most food. Um, you also are going to be able to, f to destroy a lot of tea pla plantations. Because tea plantations are really only profitable when um, pops are incredibly rich. And because we're taxing people into outer space, they're not going to be very rich. 
Um, that's that's on us. I I think you if you want to be cute, you can leave a couple, maybe like eight T or something like that. You don't need to do that, by the way, until after um, some of your taxes have been set up and pops is, and pops have become more poor. Because you wait for them to become poor and to not be able to afford the fancy things like tea and move on instead to tobacco and liquor. Um, and th and that's that's where you get that little that little extra boost from. You also have an extra 200 authority at this point, and your economy is probably like, you got a little industrial loop, right? A little industrial loop. Why don't we pick up a little service industrial loop? We'll pick up a little bit of coal and a little bit of glass. And by picking up a little bit of coal and a little bit of glass in Kyushu, which is where we're working now, we, we built over here. We really mostly just built a construction sector and some um, and some that's the wrong state idiot and some iron mines <laughs> and some iron mines. Uh, and then we came back and then we built some uh, tools in Kansai and then we moved over to Kyushu. And then in Kyushu, we built a little bit of a construction sector, some coal mines and some glass works. And what that's going to allow us to do, it's going to allow us to do market squares and gas street lights. And that's going to drastically increase our supply of uh, services going around and considering that we're taxing services, which this is the real thing that you need to keep in mind. If you want to make money um, out of your consumption taxes, the buildings that you build pay you back pretty meaningfully um and unfortunately for japan without the ability to trade you can't build some of the industrial things that some of the other countries can you cannot you cannot rely on your ability to sell your extra luxury furniture playing as japan you can't do it with with a luxury clothes either and that's a really if you've played in other parts of the world that's a big deal um luxury clothes sell for a lot if you have someone who can't who can't say no um and you can just use it to like drain money from china i think i let's see is there a way to do fast hire fast hire oh maybe there is a way to do fast hire all right that'll that'll really speed up uh our ability to film things if we can just do fast hire that's all right and then we come back and we build up a larger iron mine i guess um is that working? I can't tell if that's working or not. Um, it looked like it worked. And now we have all of that. And now we have this. Not enough tools. Is that true? Do we not really, do we really not have enough tools? No, we have enough tools. So we, 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 we are doing time compression right now, but, but I'm showing you again um what you can do in terms of your build construction and this is important because as you do these build construction things and adjust stuff you're going to be built you're changing the nature of the the pops who are working for you and then once we've got a little bit of an economy set up we're gonna really we're gonna we're gonna change things because we're gonna get academia and and now we've got a little economy we can build um we can build an uh, a little bit of research and that and that little bit of research that little bit of research is going to just transform japanese society and it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna transform it pretty quickly too um we're using market squares we're using gas street lights we're using that we're using that we've got this we've got that did we not get the um the academia event. I could have sworn that that we have the the academia event somewhere. Did I miss it? Oh, by the way, you're also probably going to want to after academia in terms of your research. Um, there are a couple of things that are important. I think I think largely you want to pick up romanticism because agrarianism is so much better. It's so much better. It's it's insane how much better it is. Um, why we can only pass this because we have fast and act on. Because um, in order to actually get this passed, we're gonna need to do serfdom abolished, which it might be worth starting actually like pretty much as soon as, and that's that's where we cheated like big time with fast and act that that fight is going to take you a long time 
Um, but but you can you can start it pretty much as soon as you want to because you're gonna have several years of clout moving around that we do not currently have in this video because clout is one of these lagged indicators it it takes a little while for it to get where it's going um and that lagging indicator makes it so that uh clout changes take a little bit we're gonna bolster the intelligentsia and we're also going to dramatically increase taxes while also dramatically increasing government wages. Why are we doing that? Walker, what what are you doing? Well, what we're doing is we're doing wealth wealth distribution, right? If you if you show up and you say, "All right, everybody, um literally 100%, we're just taxing you guys into space." And then we turn around and give all of that money to the academics who we just hired. That's going to dramatically dramatically look at that dramatic change in terms of clout. Look at that. That's exactly what we just did. We just used our taxes to adjust um, power. Do not do this part until after you have used the Shogunate and you are happy kicking them to the curb. But look at this. The Shogun isn't even mad at us despite having removed their professional army. Um, you'll probably be able to get... Um, if you can get Serfdom Abolished passed, which that one is going to require probably some some rolls, um, you'll you'll probably end up with a, a position where you need a strong intelligentsia first, and so th that might take that might take four or five years. And building up the the in the universities, do not bankrupt yourself doing so. And so if you have to build up some more industrial goods along the way, that's fine. That's why we're building them. We're building the industrial goods because they're good. They they are useful and they will increase the economic productivity of your country. And so by just building those things, you're giving your money somewhere to go. Um, and that somewhere that it's gonna go is gonna is gonna also help you uh, knock the shogun out of power. Because we can we can do a couple um, yeah, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. A little bit of, are we still doing okay on construction costs? Or would we be doing okay on construction costs? Because obviously our, our, co our construction costs are free when you're, when you're doing, when you're doing a construction video like this. Um, I think, I think realistically you could probably build a couple of textile mills anyway. Because um, textile mills are going to be useful for you economically. Plus, they're they're gonna be they're gonna make some money for you. Um, you're gonna be able to tax the stuff coming out of there pretty quickly once it's once it's once it's in place. The luxury clothes. Once the luxury clothes are in place, you could do uh, some more cash cropping or whatever, but I wouldn't recommend it. And we're we're moving that along. We could do hardwood production. That would be okay. Um, ba -dum. Da -dum, da -dum, dum, da -dum. Monument to the Shogun. Uh, I, uh, sure, it doesn't matter. Why don't we do five more um, tools in Kansai? And the glassworks are fine. The glassworks are fine. And we'll do some, some more... Uh, furniture and chubu i'm just we i i'm not going to tell you exactly how long this this development is going to take but your basic plan is going to be to make sure that you're um that you you hold on tight and that you get you get yourself some nice a, a big university in kansai and then like level literally level one universities on um probably most of your core things except shikoku population on shikoku is so low that you don't really need a, a level one there but Elsewhere, it's going to be helpful, and it's going to be helpful because it's going to employ um, some some academics. And I don't know where the the philosophy department. Oh, right, we have to pick up philosophy department. My bad. Um, is that is that dialectics? That is dialectics. Is that right? I could have sworn that we could do it without without this. There's a there's a there's an event that pops up 
that gives you the ability to get um, philosopher kings, and it's like a huge meme. But the the idea is that it it, it boosts the um, strength of your uh, of your 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 bureaucrats and your academics a lot. That's that's basically what you're going to be doing there. And we are look we're we are pulling the shogunate down, and you can do the pull, pulling the shogunate down the exact same way by following this video more or less the 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 enact time cheaty face stuff you do not need to do i promise you just play if you know what you're doing just follow this guide the guide is re-roll into you of a jingoist and this, that, this is gonna be the end you don't need to watch me do this if if you follow this guide i promise you'll get there um you want to make sure that you just re-roll into your shogun it has a jingoist ideology if you're really lucky the buddhist monk will also have an insanely insanely high popularity and I've noticed that they do this a lot, that they oftentimes start with a ridiculous amount of popularity. They might always, because what this does is it makes it so that um, willingness of pops is going to go up. And so as we suppress the shogunate, pops are going to flow to the Buddhist monks. They're just, they're going to run. They're going to run into their open arms. Um, and, and, and when are they going to start running into the open arms of the Buddhist monks? They're going to do it after your jingoist uh, shogunate. IG dude helps you pass uh, professional armies and then you're going to pass either colonial resettlement or exploitation. Then you're going to kick um, the shogunate and the samurai out of power. You're going to fire your army. The entire time you've been building up a little industrial base with a loop with wood and um, construction sectors and then a little bit of iron and a little bit of tools and a little bit of uh, industry with with coal, maybe a little glass. But then you're gonna drop a bunch of universities everywhere. And then you're gonna use high taxes, high wages, which sounds insane, but I promise you it works. I promise you that high taxes, wages and work works because because of what it does. It takes money away from aristocrats and it gives it to your bureaucrats and the laborers working in your uh, construction field, which we're not really even using right now, which is also suppressing the outcome of the clout. Um, but if you do that little loop while also doing a research line, obviously you have to start colonization to keep Hokkaido away from the Russians. You go to academia and you pick up universities you, because you have to do that in order to build your universities so that you can do high tax, high wage. Um, and then, and then from there, it kind of just depends on like what you, what things are coming over to you right like it does really matter what things start with tech spread because you might start with tech spread on colonization which just makes it a lot faster to get there and you might get lucky and do um and roll colonization into academia which is going to speed this up even more because that means that you get academia online earlier you don't have to start with it being enormous you can build it up over time you can do like a three stack here to get the event which i must have clicked through but um, you get a little event that says, do you want to get more academic? Uh, ac do you want philosopher kings? And the answer is yes, because that's going to increase the political power of the academics, which is in turn going to increase the um, intelligentsia and the Buddhist monks and importantly take away from the overall percentage that the shogunate is going to have. And by combining this, this secret traitor in the shogun with a... Um, a, a little bit of a construction spree over here, you can probably get your um, legitimacy to a reasonable place with just Buddhist monks, and then you can pass a uh, abolish serfdom. And that one is going to take a while. That one's going to take a while. You're probably going to pull your um, your authority back from possibly from taxes. It depends on the state of your economy and how much debt you have. It might be worth it to just go further into debt, depending on, again, how much, how big your economy is. Um, but you can do that. And by doing that and keeping your, your services going by using the little industrial loop with the coal and the glass to build more services. And because your services are things that you're gonna tax, you're gonna get extra money out of it. People are going to get richer. You're going to get more money and the money is going to be great because the money is going to keep this high tax, high wage going. 
Um, and if you can get to the point where you can even reduce it further, you can. But I think it's better to do high tax, high wage because it it hurts the aristocrats more than it uh, hurts your 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 bureaucrats. And that's what you want to do. You want to hurt your hurt your aristocrats until they drop below twenty by doing this construction line and this political line and just getting even remotely approximately lucky on rolls on serfdom abolished. You should be able to get serfdom abolished by like five or six years. Um, and then you might be able to do agrarianism depending on where the power is distributed right now. Uh, but it might not, it, it might not, you, you might need to, to go for interventionism. I think you're most likely going to be able to get agrarianism passed though. Cause 10% on peasants also looks reasonable. Cause I, you also sometimes find yourself rather than this being the government, sometimes this is the government depending on what the IGs, the ideologies are here. Cause sometimes you get like monarchists who want to work with you and then they, they can help you change laws in different ways. Um, you probably want to, after a serfdom, you actually definitely want to get religious schools. That's the next thing. As soon as you, as soon as you get rid of serfdom, as soon as you get rid of serfdom, you want to get religious schools actually. And that's going to significantly power up the strength of your, um, your Buddhist monks. It's also going to require you to build a little bit of government administration, but that's okay. Because government administration, of course, uh, government admin buildings, they hire, um, clergymen and aristocrats and bureaucrats and clerks and the you're not thrilled with the other one but but one, one of those one of those pop types is pretty good one of those pop types is pretty good maybe we get a couple more you just want to make sure that you're not running like a negative bureaucracy because that's pretty bad don't run negative bureaucracy that's that's pretty bad that's your that's your pro strat um, and then once you've passed your, your religious schools, that's going to increase the strength of your Buddhist monks. And that in turn is going to make it easier to pass other laws. And by passing all of these laws, either laws that remove strength from the shogunate or empower anybody other than the shogunate, you can use a construction path and a law path to, to make, to make these guys not important very fast. And then you do a Kome restoration because all you need, all you need to do it is have these guys not be powerful. If you follow this guide, that's exactly what you'll get. Um, that's 32 minutes and I've been delaying the end of the video long enough. So if you follow this video and, and you succeed, let me know. I promise you can, I, I promise you can, if you know how to play, um, Japan basically, then you can do it. Um, and I think the basic, the basic build plan I did play in my, in my game that I played, I just, I don't think I did the law parts right. And that's what made it feel so slow. I think if I had done the law par parts right, then we would have had a very powerful Japan very quickly and it would have looked really fun. But I, I think if you do it yourself, you'll have a great time. Um, and that's Walker and that's, we play games that's probably going to be it for tonight. I, I think I'm going to pause it here and just get on Reddit and discord, but, but I, I will be back tomorrow and I'm going to do, um, more of our campaign. Um, I'm having a really fun time playing with SP USA. We're, we're just getting huge right now. We're, we're in the Gurren Lagann spiral. We just built a bunch of electricity and our GDP went from like it's up like 171 in 1865, I think. 171 million in 1865. It could be a lot higher than that. I lost a, I lost a little bit of money doing stupid stuff. Don't don't do stupid stuff. It makes for good content. It makes for for weak nations. Um, but we're about we're about to use our our ironclad fleets and begin um, World War Freedom because we we are the first French Republic and we're just sweeping over the world. And if you want to, if you want to watch that, if you want to watch the, the socialist party of America lead, um, the most based America on a worldwide campaign of, of international freedom, um, then that's what's going on over there. I think it's really fun. I'm looking forward to the next achievement. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I wish that this Kome thing were an achievement because I would love to do it. I would love to do it. I know exactly how to do it, and I, if you follow this video, you will too. Um, but we'll look for an achievement to do after Based America. I'm not sure what it'll be. It'll probably be something in the Ottoman Empire because I love them. They're they're one of my favorite historical things. And so if watching Walker play the Ottoman Empire interests you, stick around for after Manifesto Destiny because um, I'm going to do them next. But 
but we're gonna finish America first, and uh, and 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 I'm gonna get some food. All right, bye.